Hi. So in this session, we are going to make a very small change. And this change is about the port value that we're using. So right now we got the port value hard coded here. And for all the reasons that it's never a good idea. In fact, uh, the machine where you'll be running it. And in fact, people use containers today where they run the applications. It's not guaranteed for this port to be available. So you want to have some kind of a safety net where you define your own port. And in case if, if it's not available, then you go for port 8080. All right. So what we are going to do is we are just going to have a port defined here. And I think that code will stay in our main file for quite some time. And I think it's just a standard practice. So we are going to declare a variable port and we are going to pick it up from OS package and we are going to actually have have it picked up from an environment variable okay so let me clear this up so let's say we'll call it my app port make sure that you give it a unique name something that is specific to your port because just giving it app port is likely to catch with many other applications that you might be using in your application or some some tools you expect uh, this port to be that certain value and uh, that's gonna cause problems when you run that particular application which is not what you want so I'm just going with my app port here so in case uh, if that variable has a certain value then it will be picked up but if it's if it is not having any value at all then the port will actually have an empty will be an empty string and in that case I want port to have the value let's say 8080 okay so uh, let me do one thing let me just uh, define a variable here my app port in the terminal and I'm gonna set it to let's say 4000 okay but we also need to replace this particular string here and we are going to use uh, fmt as printf function here okay so I'm going to replace this 8080 here with percentage s and it's gonna read the value of port okay similarly here initially what I had here was uh, just 8080 right but it's useful it's kind of readable to have the host value appended as well I mean prefixed as well and now instead of doing that what we want is actually a string and the way we also will need a way to actually format it so we're going to go with this and localhost percentage s okay and the value is going to be picked up from port here okay so I'm going to set this up to 4000 and I'm going to start my application now So you see that it is listening on 4000 now. Okay, so when I come back here to Insomnia, when I hit port 400, it gives me the response. So this is kind of a safety net. So ideally you are expecting your application to be listening on 440, but if it's not present, it's gonna default to 8080. So let me just set this to nothing. Okay, and when I run this now, it's port 8080 again. Okay, and for the subsequent sessions, I'm just gonna keep it 8080. But this is something that you want to do, all right? Okay, so that was it for this session, it was a small improvement. I'll see you in the next session. Bye.